What is up YouTube? It's your boy Lewis here, aka London Pokemon, and welcome to my channel where we keep it real and you know we keep it 100. Thanks for tuning into this video wherever you're watching in the world right now, as it's a pleasure as always to have you all on board for this journey to catch them all. Now guys, in today's pack opening, we're going to be tearing open two Fusion Strike free pack blisters in the hopes of pulling one of the six Mews that they have in this set. As you can see, I've got the one with the Espeon promo card on the front, and I've also got the one with the Eevee promo, promo card on the front as well. But before we rip open some packs, please do me a massive favor and drop a like on this video. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I upload twice a week, every Monday and Friday, so make sure to hit that notifications bell so that you don't miss a video. So guys, as previously mentioned, we're looking to pull one of the six Mew cards that are in this set. There are three Mew V cards, and there's also three Mew V Max cards to get, including that Rainbow Rare. So we're hoping that we can try and find one of those Mew cards in amongst one of these six packs today. I think we'll get started off with the one with the EV promo card. So let's get cracked open to this. I did actually give away one of these in a previous giveaway, but I've not actually opened one myself as of yet. So let's get that cracked open. Let's get out our packs. So we've got one, two, and three packs. It also comes with a code card, which I will be giving away. So here is the code card to anyone who plays the online TCG. Good luck with that. Here is the promo card, the Eevee promo card. Very, very nice sparkly promo card there. Very nice. I'll be adding that to the easel at the back. And then it also comes with a coin. This here is an Entei coin and very nice shine to that as well. Very nice coin that will be going into the collection. So the three packs that we have are, we do have a Genesect pack artwork. We have a Mew artwork. I think I'll save that one till last in hopes of pulling that Mew. And then we've also got that Bolton as well. There is also a fantastic Bolton VMAX in this set that I would love to pull as well. Obviously, Fusion Strike is the biggest set in the Pokemon TCG and we'll be hoping to try and fill up that binder as well today. We've completed 33% of the Fusion Strike binder. I know that because I've got an online Pokedex that keeps me up to date with what cards it is that I have. So we've completed 33% of it and we'll be hoping to try and add to the rest of the binder in today's video as well. We've still got two thirds to go. So let's get cracked into our first pack. Let's crack open this one here with the Genesect artwork. I have heard a lot of people say that the Genesect artwork is the one where they feel as though they've got their best pulls from. So let's see. Remember, we're looking for those Mew cards today. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I do give away the code cards in all the videos. So there you go. That's the one lucky person. There you go. Let's spin it round. Let's whip four to the front. One, two, three, and four. And let's get cracked open to this first pack. So we start things off with a fighting type energy. Going into a cross Seaver trainer card. We have a Sligu. Next card is a Claw Itza. We have a Wooloo, just chilling on the hill under the night star, night sky with the shooting stars going past. Very, very nice artwork on that card. We have a Gossy Fleur. Next, we have a Mudkip. Quite nice artwork as well. I think there's a Sandy Gas in the background as well. Not a card that I've got, so are we adding that to the binder? Next, we have a Sandstrew. Going into a Cufont. And the reverse is a Smeargle Reverse Hollow. And do we have any first pack magic? Keep your fingers crossed for us at home. We have a Blissey non Hollow Rare. So nothing in that first pack, but we still got five more packs to go. We'll be cracking open the Bolton Dark work this time. Let's get stuck into this. I did purchase these um, three pack blisters from a store called Asda. Um, for £13.50 each. So we spent a total of £27. It's one of the very few things that they've had in their store recently. Um, it's been a little bit hard to pick up um, Pokemon products recently, but whenever I go to a supermarket, it seems to be that they seem to be stocking a lot of Fusion Strike. No Brilliant Stars has been able to be found for a long, long time. So four to the front, let's see what we get here. So like I said, we spent £13.50 on each of those as we kickstart this one off with a fire type energy. Going into a Chili and Cillin and Crest card, trainer card. We have a Gliscor. Going into a Mandibuzz. Our next card is a Shelmet. 
Next, we have a Plusel, battling away with a Minon in the background. And next, we have a Caterpie, with another Caterpie in the background. Very, very nice artwork on that card. Our next card is a Morpeko. Going into an Eevee. Absolutely love Eevee. We'll always happily take an Eevee, even if I've got plenty of them already. Our Reverse Holo is a Barrascuda Reverse Holo. And do we have anything at the back? Remember, we're on search for one of those six Mews. However, I would happily take a Bolton VMAX or any sort of Ultra Rare right now to fill up the binder. We have a Genesect V. I will take that. Nice little hit there, Genesect V from the Bolton artwork pack. Very nice, not a card that I've got, so I will happily be adding that to the easels at the back and that will happily go into my binder at the end of this video. So, not a bad way to kick things off with that Genesect V. We are still hunting out those Mews though and we do go into our Mew artwork pack this time round. Let's slip off the top and I hope you're keeping those fingers crossed at home for us. And let's see what we get in this pack. So let's chuck that to the side. Okay, let's give you that code card at home. There we go, chuck that to the side as well. All right, let's whip four to the front. We've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, and let's see what we start off. I'm gonna have a guess of leaf type energy. Unlucky, we've got an electric type energy to start things off with this pack. Going into an Elder Goss. Our next card is a Galarian Parasucker. We have a Fusion Strike Energy card. We have a Phalanx. Our next card is a Morpeko, Darkness type energy this time. Our next card is a Smeargle. We did pull that in Reverse Hollow earlier on in this opening. Next, we have a Quillfish. Going into a Tynamo. And in our Reverse Hollow slot, we have a Growlithe Reverse Holo. As many of you will know, Growlithe is one of my most favorite Pokemon. So we'll happily take a Growlithe Reverse Holo. Going into the rare at the back, keep your fingers crossed, we have an Electrode non holo rare. So only one hit out of three in that particular um, three pack blister. We do go into the second one now. This one here is the one with the Espeon promo card on the back, on the front. So let's get stuck into this one. Ripping open nice and easily. Let's get out those packs. One, two, and three. Let's give you that code card as well. Good luck to whoever gets that. And let's have another closer look at that promo card at the front. The Espeon card. There we go. Please let me know in the comments of this video, what is your favorite evolution? There are so many different ones to choose from. I think my one personally is Umbreon, but what is your favorite evolution? Let's pop that up onto the easel at the back. And the coin, I believe is the same coin, same Entei coin as before, so we won't spend too much time looking at that. But yep, we get that as well. And we've got three more packs. We have the one with the Gengar artwork on it. There is some amazing Gengar cards also in this set to collect, which I haven't got any of yet. We have got the Bolton artwork. And in addition to that, we do have the Mew artwork as well. Can we pull one of those six Mew cards from a Mew artwork pack? So we'll save that one till last. I think we'll get stuck into the Bolton one first of all this time. Remember guys, we do have our Instagram page, um, London Pokemon. So check that out. The link for that is in the description to this video. So make sure to check that out. We have a bit of fun on there. I also um, put on a few polls um, and I give the followers of the page the opportunity to select what it is that we're gonna be opening up in future videos. So make sure to check that out. So we go one, two, three, and four to the front. And let's see what we've got in this one. We kickstart things off with a fire type energy. Going into a fusion strike energy energy card. We have an Elsa's sparkle trainer card. Next, we have a Dreadnought. Going into a Toxel. Our next card is a Staryu. We have a Maywile. And the next card is a Makuhita. Going into our reverse, not just yet actually, we do have one more card, we have Panpour. Now it should be our reverse of a Galarian Lanoon. And the rare at the back, keep your fingers crossed for us at home. Let's see what we've got from the Bolton artwork. We have a Bolton v -Max! Yeah! Yeah! Get in! Bolton v -Max pulled from the Bolton artwork card. The 
This is a card that I've been hunting. I know we're on the search for the Mew cards, but this is a card that I've been desperately wanting. We pulled the Bolton V in a recent video, and now we've pulled the Bolton V Max. I did say at the beginning of this video, if we can't find one of those six Mew cards, the Bolton V Max is one that I would desperately want, and we've managed to pull it. I cannot believe my luck. Fusion Strike has been serving me really well over the last few openings. Bolton V Max, look at that card there. Oh my goodness, I am so, so happy with that. Great texture to that card. Look at the shine. What an absolutely awesome Pokemon. Bolton V Max out of the Bolton artwork. So hyped with that. Oh, honestly, even if I don't pull anything else from this video, I will happily settle for what I've got. Bolton V Max. Wow. That is brilliant. I think that deserves a round of applause, really, honestly. I am over the moon with that one. Let's crack into the next pack artwork. We've got a Gengar. I don't know if that's going to be top, to be honest, but let's give it a go. We've still got two more packs, let's not forget. Well happy with that. Wow, absolutely over the moon. So we've actually pulled a Genesect V, which is obviously a Gen you can get Genesect artwork in Fusion Strike. And we've also pulled a Bolton V Max, which obviously one of the artworks is also Bolton artwork. So could we potentially get three out of the four? Could we potentially get a Gengar now? Could we potentially get a Mew? Let's keep our fingers crossed at home. I can't believe it. Over the moon with that. So, so happy of that card. All right. Let's get stuck into this one. Let's give you that code card at home. There you go. It's the wrong way around, but there you go. You can have it. All right, chuck that to the side. One, two, three, and four. Whip it round to the front. Oh, I'm so, so happy with that Bolton VMAX, if you can't already tell. I don't care what we get in these future packs right now. I am over the moon with that. We start this one off with a Psychic type energy. Going into a Harry Armor, a card that I haven't actually got, so I'll be happily adding that to the collection as well. We have a Breloom. Another one that I know I haven't got as well. Going into a Cross Switcher Trainer card. Next, we have a Galarian Darumaka. We have an Indeedy. We've got Growlithe back again. We did pull the reverse holo of this. My favorite Pokemon, Growlithe. Offering us a bit of luck in this opening. We have a Phalanx. We have a Morpeko, the Darkness type energy one. And our reverse is a Sizzlipede Reverse Hollow, one that I needed for the binder. And at the back, do we have anything? Let's keep our fingers crossed at home. I don't think anything's gonna top that Bolton V Max, but I'll take anything at this stage. What have we got? We've got an Azumarill non hollow Rare. Not to worry though, because we do have the Bolton V Max at the, at the back. <laughs> and <laughs> I am over the moon with that, honestly. We've got one more pack. It's kind of gone out the window now that we're here to try and get Muse today, especially after getting that card. But we do have one final pack. We've got the one with the Mew artwork. Can we pull a Mew from this final pack? We've got two major hits so far, the Genesect V and the Bolton V Max. Can we make it free out of the six pack? That'll be pretty good. 50% hit rate would be great. Let's see what we can get. Let's open up this pack. Chuck the, chuck the package into the side. Let's give you that code card at home. There we go, to one lucky person. Chuck that to the side as well. Okay, and let's bring Force to the front. Let's see if we can get any last pack magic. Although even if we don't, I'm not too bothered to be honest, because I've got that Bolton V Max. I'm gonna be sleeping well tonight. Okay, let's start this one off with a Metal type energy. Going into a Cramomatic Trainer card. Our next card is an Eldegoss. We have a Galarian Parasucker. Going into a Stuffle. Our next card is a Sandy Ghast. We have a Plusle fighting away with Minon in the background. Next, we have a Vulpix, another Pokemon that I really do like, along with Ninetales. Next, we have a Meltan. And is the next one our Reverse Hollow? I think it may be. Let's see what we've got. Our Reverse Hollow is that Plusle once again. Fighting away in the back, fighting away with Minon in the background. And guys, what are we going to end it on today? Please keep your fingers crossed at home for a bit of Last Pack Magic. Let's try and get a 50% hit rate. We've got the Genesect V so far, the Bolton V Max. Can we finish off with anything amazing? At the back of this pack, we have a Claydol non hollow rare. But not to worry, we'll chuck that one to the side. Let's move on to this recap. One that I'm absolutely buzzing for. Let's see and have a quick look as to what it is that we got in today's opening. Only two hits from the six packs. 
but I will still happily take it. We got the two promo cards as well. We got the Espeon, absolutely lovely hollow pattern on that Espeon there. Lovely card. We'll pop that there. We also got the EV as well, which is also another promo card, same hollow foil pattern. Lovely card as well. We'll pop that to, on the same easel as well. We got the Genesect V, not a card that I've got. Quite a nice artwork on that. However, I'm afraid that there gets topped by the one and only Bolton V Max. Let's have another look at that card in detail. Absolutely stunning card, great artwork. Nothing negative to say about this card at all. Over the moon with this one. Just look at the shine on it. Look at all the different colors, the vibrancy. That there is probably one of my best pulls from Fusion Strike. And I will bring that one up nice and close so that we can end on that one there. Absolutely stunning, great way to finish. Just look at that once again, honestly, I can't get over it. It's an absolutely stunning card. Absolutely beautiful, great shine to it. Wow, as I'm sure you can tell at home, I am over the moon with this one. So let's prop it onto the easel. We'll finish off with that one. Okay guys, if you haven't already done so, please drop a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and also check out the Instagram page as well. We've got exclusive giveaways on that, and you can also play your part as to what is coming up on the channel. But guys, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. And until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.